X Factor, and this year's winner is Eric. Fans go wild over Simon Cowell's sweet toddler son as he steals the show with cute introduction to quarterfinal. He is the apple of his music mogul father's eye. And little Eric Cowell won a legion of new fans as he made a very cute introduction to the X Factors quarterfinal on Saturday night, helped by his head judge dad Simon. The three-year-old, who 58-year-old Simon shares with girlfriend Lauren Silverman, was sat seen sat on Simon's lap as he took over the reins from voiceover artist Peter Dixon and said into a microphone, it's time to face the music. Little Eric looked adorable in a striped top with large orange headphones over his ears. His proud dad Simon couldn't help but smile as his only child took on the mammoth task like a pro. And it wasn't only Simon who was won over with one fan calling Eric the true champion of the X Factor. They wrote, and this year's winner goes to Eric Gowell. At Simon Gowell he is too much. Another loyal fan wrote, Eric is adorable while a further viewer added that they thought Eric was going to put her Stuart O'Leary out of a job. One viewer wrote, cute little Eric. Mini Simon Gowell in the rehearsals with another writing, um, Eric is too cute. Looks like Peter Dixon's job is no longer safe. Sam Black and Sean and Connor Price became the latest contestants eliminated during the dramatic quadruple elimination weekend on The X Factor. Rake Sewer crowned the winners of Saturday Night's Live show with their popular rendition of original song Mona Lisa and are in with a chance of winning a session with a renowned songwriter. Lloyd Macy was first to be named safe in the competition, followed by the cute Calvins. Sean told Dermot, We've had a great time. We never expected to come this far anyway in the competition, so to be this far. And everyone's so talented, so best of luck everyone. Sam then said, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's voted for me in the past. I've had the best time. Thank you Simon, thank you to all the people in the X Factor team. Louis is the best judge ever. Thanks, honestly, for the opportunity. It's amazing, and I've had the best time. A surprise dear Mott O'Leary told the Irish brothers, in the other year, you would be in the final. A shocked Simon said, whose idea was it to do the double elimination? To which dear Mott responded, yours. Louis Walsh and his boys category took on Simon Gowell's group's category in Saturday night's show. This week, the ten remaining acts will battle it out during a crazy in love themed weekend. Sam Black had failed to impress with his performance of Oops by Little Mix for Charlie Puth while Sean and Connor had won positive feedback for the rendition of Issues by Julia Michaels. The X Factor returned for its fourth week of live shows on Saturday, ahead of a shock quadruple elimination this weekend. And it kicked off with a banger's head judge Simon Cowell bizarrely likened Sam Black's opening performance to a prawn cocktail. Sam took on Oops by Little Mix Fort. Charlie Puth with a playful performance surrounded by dancers. Simon opened with, that's what I call a prawn cocktail. That's not the main course or dessert. It's the little thing you have before the big thing. The problem is that everything that happens around you has been done by other people. Horrible song choice. Why I'm frustrated is you should be doing something that is different, that doesn't make you feel like a puppet. Nicole went one step further as she said, the song fit your style. However it was off, the timing was off, you were pitchy. For me it was the worst performance you've ever done. Sharon said, you are the happy little chappy. Every week you bob along. I've never seen just you. I don't have a sense of who you are. You're showing us a happy little chappy who should be doing a show in the summertime. Louis was quick to jump to his act's defense saying, how can you say that Simon, he's like a prawn cocktail. You're still here. That was your best performance yet. Next up was the first group sacked with Sean and Connor Price taking on issues by Julia Michaels.
Louis said, I like everything about you guys. You're in. You're great role models. I want to see you here next week. So bad. Sharon said, excellent song choice. It is an amazing song. I think that this is where you shine. You've built up to this. You shine, guys. I'm really happy for you. It was beautifully done. Nicole said, it is such a great song. You sounded amazing. I still think you guys are better than that and the talent you have. I think you could have come with a more original interpretation. They are slaying it tonight. Simon responded, somebody's a little grumpy tonight. Taking a sip of her drink, oh it's grumpy juicer to which Nicole beat back, it's ginger and cayenne, he continued, I think tonight, this is the best one, it looked like you were having fun. The cute Calvins were next with original song Saved Me From Myself which got a standing ovation from all four judges, Louis said, I think it was a big risk but it totally paid off. That should be your first single? Sharon said, a really great song. It was fantastic. Nicole said, the cute Calvins have arrived. Where did that come from? I love you had the balls to do your own song. You took a risk and it paid off. I'm falling in love. I want to see more chemistry, Sharon said, a really great song. It was fantastic while Simon waxed lyrical with his praise for the group. Last week's prize fight winner Lloyd Macy was up next with a haunting rendition of From This Moment on by Shania Twain Fort, Brian White, which is one of his mum's favourite songs. Simon said, you are a really good singer. Still I just wish that Lloyd one week could find a song he makes his own version. I don't know what it is, this was great, but it didn't make me emotional. Nicole said, I think you have such a beautiful instrument. You to me are like a perfect bowl of spaghetti. However, sometime I'm hungry for some rubbiata, some spice, a little less cheese. I can't take away from that voice you have. Sharon said, you stay true to what you are. There's always room for somebody like you. You stand your ground. Louis said, you have the most amazing pure recording voice. There's a huge recording potential for you. Fan favorites Rex who got the crowds moving with original song Mona Lisa which earned them a standing ovation. Louis said to deafening applause, every week, you're exciting. Guys you're sailing through to the final. Sharon said, it's done. You guys are unbelievable songwriters. You are superb. I got to hand it to you. See ya, bye, it's done. Nicole said, I think this country has fallen crazy in love with Rake Sue. I love the chemistry the four of you have. You knocked it out of the park again. Simon said, I love that guys. There is no better job than that pleasure of meeting guys who bring the ideas to the table. I do absolutely nothing. Simon also denied he was responsible for there being a quadruple elimination. There was also a slightly bizarre prize for fans who would get the chance to have dinner with Louis Walsh. Last year's X Factor champion Matt Terry was up to perform his new single, Romantic Ballad, The Thing About Love. Nicole Skepzinger dazzled in a red sequin dress which clung to her enviable toned figure as she sat at the judging table. Her raven locks were styled in a bouncy blow dry while she went for full on bombshell with her makeup look. Meanwhile Sharon Osborne put on an incredibly busty display in a statement black gown with statement shoulder pads which flashed her ample cleavage. Simon's three-year-old son Eric melted hearts as he took the mic to introduce the quarterfinal, saying, it's time to face the music. Simon later said Eric was his boss and that he loved him more than anything. The winner of the prize fight competition will win a songwriting session with Ali Damposi who wrote Camilla Caballo's number one single Havana. Last week contestant Kevin Davy White won the viewer vote with a rendition of George Michael's Fast Love, PT1 in a night that paid tribute to the late singer.
but it was Lloyd Macy who won Sunday night's vote and ended up beating Kevin in the prize fight, winning a chance to support Little Mix in concert in Manchester. It was the end of the line for the final two wildcards last weekend with group acts Jack and Joel and girls singer Eliza Bonabra eliminated during George Michael week. Although Jack and Joel's performance of Wham's The Edge of Heaven was labelled Wham's Inc. by Nicole Skerzinger, it wasn't enough to save them in the public vote. Meanwhile, comeback Queen Eliza was booted out of the competition after her cover of Praying for a Time failed to impress the judging panel. This week's show favourite Grace Davis has confessed she struggled in rehearsals this week after she suffered from crippling back pain, which had left her struggling to walk on Friday morning. The aspiring singer, 20, admitted to The Sun that she was unable to get off the floor for 20 minutes due to the pain and had to result in crawling across her bedroom.